What's up everyone, Takedown here, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be going through some more comic books. I'm really excited that we finally have comic books back on the channel. Today we're going to be going through all Spectacular Spider-Man, and these are the ones that were included in the 2000 lot that I did purchase. Now, most of these ones I might pick out a couple for myself, but the rest are likely going to be sold. Mostly I collect Web of Spider-Man, which there will be a video of very soon. I do have a lot of Spider-Man comics to go through, and whatever I do not keep for myself, I am going to be reselling. So with that being said, let's get into this video and start going through these comics. So I don't think they're in any order, like the X-Men or the X-Force were. These ones, I think they're all mixed, so it's going to be jumping around issues a lot. So up first, we have Spectacular Spider-Man issue 222. Uh, it has a price tag of $3 on it, but let the glare go out there. It does look really cool. That is something that if I seen it in a comic book shop for a couple bucks, I probably would pick it up for myself. It does have some nice artwork, and that's usually what draws me into these comics. So that one there is pretty interesting. I do like it. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep that or not. Next is uh, Spider-Man issue 93. So really big jump there. First one was 2 22 this one is 93 so this is more of what I collect I like more of the 80s comics the 80s stuff I don't know to me that just looks a lot nicer of a comic then we have 107 here again I like the design this is more 80s this is what I really enjoyed collect so I might have to pick some of these ones and keep them in my collection then we jump up to 149 I do like the fight scenes on the cover there. That looks very, very cool. I really like that. And this one's at least bagged and boarded. Some of them are, some of them aren't. I found with this uh, collection, but still very interesting. Then we have issue 150. Usually the milestone ones, like 100, 150, stuff like that, I'll keep. So this one I'm likely going to keep in my collection. Um, not sure who is in court here, but it does look really, really cool. So. Issue 150, that one is going to be staying in my personal collection. Uh, 154 uh, has Puma in it. So that's cool. I like how it goes black with the white fonts. That actually looks amazing for me. That's something that's I might have to consider keeping in my collection. Not 100% sure right now. 162. Wow. Look at that cover. I like it has a border of people that are in the cover as well, or in the comic as well. That's really cool. 163. Not sure if these are a set or not. Doesn't look like it. Doesn't say part one to anything on it. 164. At least these ones are in somewhat of an order. That's a nice scene. I like that. Spider-Man smashing through a window. 165. This guy looks like he's dead. Wow, that's really cool. 167. I think 66 is missing. Yeah, 166 is missing. There's an interesting one. Hmm. 168. This one has She Hulk on it. That's really cool. Also has some of the other Avengers in it as well. Um, kind of looks like the Avengers, wow, it kind of looks like the Avengers and Spider-Man are fighting off, uh, She-Hulk, so I'm definitely gonna have to check this one out, I might have to keep this one, that seems like it's an interesting, uh, comic right there. Next, 169, it looks like, uh, Spider-Man is teaming up with Sandman and some of the other villains as well, I like how they're just, it's a white cover with the superheroes, so it looks really cool, very simple. 170, this is going to be one I'm going to have to keep for myself. Avengers versus the Outlaws. So we have the Avengers and She-Hulk uh, vers versus the Outlaws, which include Spider-Man and Sandman, which is really cool. So this one's definitely going to be one that's staying in my personal collection. 174, Dr. Octopus right on the cover. Spider-Man just getting there. Uh, and it's Mary Jane. That's really cool. Then we have 175. Spider-Man is in a little bit of trouble there. 178. I like the artwork. The artwork looks amazing to me. 
179, Spider-Man vs. Vermin. I like these. 180, Hobgoblin. Oh, Green Goblin. Hmm. Very cool. That one I'm debating on keeping. 180. Looks like somebody dies in this comic. That's going to be a really, really interesting one to read. Uh, 182. Really like these, uh, I don't know, that's usually what I collect is these comics. Uh, we only have two left. The This is a uh, annual for Spider-Man. Wow, that's crazy. It's hard to tell what really is happening there. Kind of looks like Spider-Man is just uh, spiraling in space there. Really cool. And then we have another annual here with Iron Man on the cover, and it looks like Ultron's in the background there. It's hard to tell, but that is really cool. This is annual number 11, part 2, and this is annual 10. The other one is annual 10. So that's really cool. These are all of the spectacular Spider-Man that were included in my 2000 comic lot that I purchased. For the most part, I have been selling a lot of the comics lately, and I will be sharing a video of just what comics I did sell and what I sold them for and how many sold. Uh, right now I think I'm close to $300 of my $1,000 investment already made back and I don't even think I hit 200 comics that sold. So I will talk about what sold in future videos but comment down below what you guys want to see next. Do you guys want me to go through more of my comics? A mix of Avengers, Iron Man, Captain America and a little bit of everything? Or you guys like whenever I piece it together and put all of X Factor, all of X Men, do multiple videos on just a specific uh, comic book. So that's what I've been doing with Spider Man. I still have Amazing Spider Man. I still have the New Mutants. Uh, I think Web of Spider Man and a couple other ones to make videos for as well. But I absolutely love this. Comic books are back on the channel, which is something I've wanted to do for a while. And it's a reinvestment. So I invested $1,000, purchased over 2,000 comics to make my money back and also keep a lot of the comics that I wanted to keep in my collection. There's been ones that I can't wait to share them with you, ones that are worth a lot more money or complete sets that I end up, uh, I think I'm going to end up keeping and I'll share those at the very end, uh, which is going to be a long time because there's going to be a lot of videos for comic books with this lot that's included. But I hope you guys are enjoying this. So I'm going to leave this video here. Please continue to check back for more comic books. I think right now it's every two weeks or every couple weeks I'm doing another video and sharing other comics that were included in this lot as well. I'll see you guys in the next one. Please take care. Peace.